All right, welcome back to another PSI real estate exam prep for your national real estate exam. And today we are going to go over leasing and property management. And specifically, we're going to go over the lease agreement. We're going to hit five questions today around the lease agreement that we think that you will see some variation of on your national exam for your real estate license. So question number one, a tenant has signed a two-year lease on a beach property. One year after the start of the lease, the landlord dies and the ownership is transferred to his heirs who decide to sell the property. The tenant is sent notice of the intent to sell. In this case, what will be the status of the tenant's lease upon closing of the sale? Well, looking through here, the answer is C. The tenant will still have one year left on their lease, but should be notified of who has their security deposit. Estates for years continue beyond the lifetime of the parties and do not end with their death. All right, question number two. A lease must give the tenant exclusive possession of the property. And a lease grants the tenant the right to occupy the property. And while other items may be included in the lease, they are not mandatory. Question number three. Last night, a fire destroyed an apartment building. Are the tenants required to honor the remaining term of their lease? And no, because a lease is terminated by destruction of the property. The lease comes to an end if the property is lost. And in such a case, the tenant is not obligated to pay rent or uphold any other terms of the lease. Question number four. A tenant has an estate for years. According to the written one-year lease, the tenancy will expire on May 1st. To obtain possession after May 1st, the landlord is not required to give the tenant any notice. Notice is unnecessary to terminate an estate for years due to the presence of the predetermined expiration date in the lease agreement. Once the specified date arrives, the lease naturally comes to an end and the tenant's rights are thereby terminated. And question number five, unless the lease agreement stipulates otherwise, the upkeep of the electrical, heating, and plumbing systems would be the responsibility of the owner or the leasor. The leasor, who is the owner, is generally responsible for maintaining the property unless the lease explicitly states otherwise. All right, this was five questions to help you pass your national PSI real estate exam. If this was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe as every week we will have a new video to help you pass your PSI national real estate exam.